Uh, she did a great job of waking you all up. I'll make sure you all go back to sleep. Uh, so I'm, I, I need some help. How do I change the slides? Is this it? Yeah? Okay. So uh, when I was asked to actually, hello. Yeah, better. So much light here. Yeah. So uh, what I'm going to do today is uh, I'm just going to share a few slides. I think there is, there is a lot of conversation that I keep hearing. Uh, just a little bit about myself. Before I started Spring in 2019, I spent about 16 years at Lintas. I last served as the Chairman and Chief Creative Officer of Low Lintas. Uh, was fortunate enough to have uh, worked with brands from Unilever to Google to Flipkart to uh, launching Hotstar in India. So it's just been very, very fortunate, my journey. And, I, and I've seen this debate play out for many, many years. And this whole thing of, with the, with the advent of digital, this constant uh, chatter about, okay, is this, is this relevant? Is this going away? Is this, wh what's going to happen to television advertising? Uh, so I'm just going to present a point of view, which uh, kind of factors in some practical stuff. So I think everybody talks about the future of 20 sec 30 seconders. In my view, it's actually 20 seconders now. And, and, and that, and I don't know how many of you, uh, and which parts of the media business you all stem from, but all the conversation in the room now, especially if you're talking about advertising on television is, is all about saying, okay, listen, 30 seconders have gotten too expensive. We have to find a way to, to get to 20, 15s. And then of course the Facebooks of the world come and say 15, uh, uh, six seconders is what works. And then they put out seven minute ad films for themselves, uh, which, which is quite contradictory. So, so I think the, it is 20 seconders, but the bigger, the real question for me that this is not about duration. We keep discussing duration. For me, it's about the relevance. The relevance of, you know, does the 20 seconder, 30 seconder matter in a digital first world? Actually, this is the question which at least I keep uh, introspecting on. And a lot of times I have realized that yes, it is relevant. We are in a digital first world, uh, but it's not like the 20 seconder, 30 seconder has left the room. It's not like it's completely irrelevant because so many people spending so many dollars, it can't, it can't be without effect. So, uh, so I want to just walk you all through this, uh, through my learnings, through this brand called Wakefit. I don't know how many of you all are aware of this brand. It's a, it's a Bangalore based startup, which we've been uh, working with for the last four years. And uh, it, was, it was a small company when we began working with them. This was back in Jan 2019. We had just opened our doors. Awakepit was the, one of the first brands that we interacted with. There were just two founders. They had been through multiple startups and then they had, uh, and some of them failed. And then they, then they began this small little company where they came and told us that, listen, we just make some mattresses and then we sell them online. And, then when we kind of started spending time with them and there is this great brand uh, in the UK, it's called Casper. They had modeled themselves on Casper and it, it, it's, it's fascinating. I don't know how, it, it, does anybody use any Wakefit product at home? It's one, two and three. Uh, are, and how many people aware of the brand? That's a sizable amount. Uh, now, th th that, that is very reassuring because it's only about four or five months since the company has spent any money on television. Everything the company has done has only been on the digital platform. And, 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 that's, and given the, the, the room, it, it, it is very reassuring to know that. Uh, so actually when we started work with them, one of the biggest things we did was we told, we, we realized that they're not just a mattress company, but they're actually a sleep solutions company. And the purpose of the company became how can we bring sleep into the consciousness and conversations of people? Now, there is context to this. We are obviously living in a world where Netflix comes and says, uh, sleep is my enemy. Our honorable prime minister actually in interviews has said that how little he sleeps. And, and, uh, and obviously the country is very inspired by him. And obviously we think that sleeping is overrated. But here is a brand that is selling mattresses, takes a higher ground, 
and decides to bring sleep into the consciousness and conversations of people because on one hand, we say uh, too much sleep is not good. On the other hand, we've had enough instances of people, very healthy people who have lost their lives and a lot of times uh, the reason uh, given is that there wasn't enough sleep in their life. So, th you know, this is the dichotomy that, that, that existed and the brand decided to bring sleep into the consciousness and conversations of people and this is a brand, like I said, in its four and a half years of existence, it's been the last five months when it's gone on television, everything else has been through content. Uh, and we've managed to generate word of mouth, educate, build knowledge, always on uh, content, right? There have been, uh, we've created about 600 pieces of content for this brand alone. Uh, and I'm gonna take you all through some of it. But before that, I think what's important in this digital world according to us is that you don't just simply create content, brands have to behave like content creators. Like, you know, there is a, every content creator kind of uh, has an understanding of her or his style, what connects with people and then generates content from there. It's not very, it's not very different for brands. Brands have to do the same thing. And uh, this is the first piece uh, of content that we put out. Uh, this was, this is called Sleep Internship. It's on its third season now. Uh, the amount of money, media money that's gone behind this in three years has been a little over a crore. Uh, that's how much money has been spent behind this. But it's generated crazy amount of word of mouth for the brand. And uh, that's the video. What is your boss? Hey, you Hey, you you salary जैसे कमेंट्स मार के परेशान करते हैं तो पेश है एक ऐसी जॉब जहां आप चैन की नींद सो सकेंगे आपके और आपके नींद के बीच में कोई नहीं आएगा सिवाय एक मैट्रेस के और इतना ही नहीं मंथ एंड पे आप सोते-सोते सैलरी भी कमाएंगे जी हां सपने सच होते हैं हम करते हैं longish video but you all get the drift right basically every year we call for 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 uh, you know for entries people send in entries then they send in videos of why they qualify to be sleep interns we get it this year we got entries from about 37 countries uh, it's been covered in the press in in television media across the world in fact there's a there's a joke uh, there was a local uh, uh, television channel in in the in the US which covered it and said that there is this uh, uh, mattress company from Indiana. They didn't even realize that it's a company based in India. They, they thought it's based in Indiana and that kind of coverage it got. And, and we are on the third season. Like I said, this year has been about six and a half lakh entries from 37 countries. So that's, that's the power of content there. Uh, you can go Google it and then all this shows up. So there are the numbers. Uh, and then it leads to further content, user-generated content that uh, that gets created, right? So, degree, civil services, wake fit sleep internship. I have got people, uh, uh, I've got people who are very famous, who have a lot of money in their life, have actually asked me saying, can we also apply because it's just about sleeping, right? Which we anyways got to do. So that's the kind of power it has. Uh, we also, as a brand, over the last four years, we leverage moments. And I think that's super critical. Uh, uh, one of the things is, as this was happening, you know, I don't know how many of you all saw Bartan Dholie, which was again something that, that went seriously viral. Uh, IKEA launched, we welcomed them with a Swedish ad in the newspaper. Uh, Omicron. Omicron. Ye COVID na. Manus. पूरा 2020 घर में बैठे-बैठे निकल गया और 2021 डर में बैठे-बैठे पिछले साल बर्तन धो-धो के हाथ घिस गए और इस साल मास्क पहन-पहन के चेहरे के चेहरा दिख जाए वही बड़ी बात है लाइफ पूरी रियल से वर्चुअल हो चुकी है एक साल से घर में दुबक के बैठे अरे खून के रिश्तों से गहरा रिश्ता तो मेरा इस इस वेकफिट के सोफे से बन गया बिल्कुल वेलक्रो की तरह चिपक चुका हूं इससे उठता हूं तो चरस से आवाज आती है एक साल से इस पे एस्ट्रिक आस आस लगाए बैठा हूं मैं आ वो वाली आस ये कोविड खत्म होगा कि नहीं होगा 
बार बार बिन बुलाए मेहमान की तरह आ जाता है Shameless craziest party of the year. I'm just running through. I have a timer in front of me. So, I think one of the important things to 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 think about is that you have to find ways to engage people where they are, and I think that's one thing. Uh, and not to take away, I'll come back to the point on television. I know this is about the future of 30 seconders, but this I'm just talking about how you can build a digital first brand. Uh, there was a podcast on Spotify. so we tied up and the brand we said okay we we need we need a celebrity now so we said okay who's a sleep fluencer uh, so we actually uh, we uh, created kumbhakaran the sleep specialist and kumbhakaran actually has a, a linkedin page which has a lot of followers he's called the chief sleep officer at wakefit uh, <laughs> आधी नींद में तीन महीने बाद उठा तो पता चला मेमोरी फोन वाला मैट्रेस अब घर पर आता फ्रॉम वेकफिट डॉट को चलिए सी यू टुमारो इन सिक्स मंथ सो दिस डिड रन ऑन टीवी एज वेल सो वी ओंट स्लीप बाई पुटिंग पीपल टू स्लीप राइट सो सो एंड एंड द पॉइंट दैट आई रियली वॉन्ट मेक इज दैट दिस इज अनादर इनिशिएटिव विच हैपन्ड uh just when covid got over and uh, the world was opening up uh and a lot of us had gotten used to sleeping after lunch like it's very visible here uh so a lot of us had gotten used to it so we actually created this movement called dose dhai sone de bhai uh which was uh, which really traveled a lot it uh, everybody uh, uh, it got covered in the economic times two times in the front page saying this is what companies are doing these days uh so that's the kind of noise it created uh yet i think all of this created awareness but that alone didn't move the needle i think we must acknowledge the country we live in uh it is a very very large country digital is making its inroads everywhere but knowing about a brand and buying a brand are two completely different things we can't take away from the fact that when you go on television there is huge amount of credibility there is huge amount of trust that does get generated and the brand got a lot of awareness and that was it's evident in the room about 40 people in the room knew the brand three people have bought it and that's the point i'm trying to make is that knowing something because of its digital presence and actually acting on what you know about because of television uh, th- that's the reality of the country that we live in and at some point in time once we had kind of exhausted the digital audience the brand didn't have a choice but to go on television uh, and when you're going on television while this is the avatar of the brand in the digital medium you have to have a compelling uh, you have to have a compelling argument for why somebody should buy you uh, and that's what that's where you enter with 20 seconders we signed up a brand ambassador and we and we must admit we are a country that's obsessed with cricket and uh, and uh, film stars we can't take away from that uh, the kind of reach that these two uh, mediums i don't i wouldn't even call film a medium but uh, the kind of love that cricket and films generate in this country is unparalleled uh, and finally when you want to when you want to build consideration and deep consideration within a large part of india we believe that television is your place uh, and that's when we went with rashmika we created these two spots madam huh? me wake fit orthopedic memory foam mattress wow. ready wow 100 days try cheyandi huh? na check pote return cheyandi 100% refund pondandi oh. buy and try but why are you fly showroom lo chestaru 2 minutes try huh? intiki teesukochaka you will cry winner huh? buy and try <laughs> 
సూపర్ ఓయ్ వెయిట్ ఫుట్ మ్యాట్రెస్ ను చేయండి బాయ్ హండ్రెడ్ డేస్ కు చేయండి ట్రై నచ్చకపోతే చెప్పండి బాయ్ బాయ్ ఆర్డర్ చేయండి వెయిట్ ఫుట్ డాట్ కో బాయ్ so this kind of uh, it's in telugu because it first ran in the andhra market and then went on to run nationally uh, but we had to have a compelling argument because finally and 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 i'm sure all of you all have done this at some point in time we all go into a mattress shop we sit on the mattress behave like experts for 20 seconds of bouncing on it and then say yes this is the one for me uh, we said that's that's not the way to buy a mattress you actually take it home try it for 100 days and return it if you want to uh, and that's the cash on delivery equivalent of of flipkart back in the day right so it kind of uh, builds trust in people that you can and and it's a fabulous mattress whoever has in bought it should buy it uh, but but that's that's the final point that i wanted to make wake with sofa no uh, chandy bye 100 days ko chandy bye uh, sorry <laughs> the learning is the world may be digital first but that doesn't make the 22nd or second uh, i think long live the 22nd or if you want to create reach if you want to go deep into this country as of today it still is the medium it's just how you play out the brand on different mediums the kind of arguments you create the kind of creatives that you create they differ but it's not like one is replacing the other that's the larger point that i wanted to make i am over time by 1 minute 29 seconds so i have assumed there are no questions and you all have thoroughly enjoyed this session and you all can clap now thank you very much